So season three of Chucky has just wrapped up, so let's talk about it. So as you see it in the title, you see it in the thumbnail. With Chucky season three, I'll be honest, it's a mixed bag for me. I do think the split season, having four episodes in October and four episodes now, did hurt a little bit in terms of the build up and excitement of the show. But due to the whole writer strike and everything, that's the reason for the whole split season. But overall, in terms of the show, there was some enjoyment to be had. They have confirmed that there is going to be a Chucky movie coming out and I hope to God it goes back to like the basics of the child's play theme or even like season one because while this one was a bit more hardcore compared to season two, the direction and the kind of storyline that they were going for and like the finale just left a little bit more to be desired for so I hope if they go for the movie it's more like child's play one, two, three, more like season one of Chucky where Chucky is just like this threatening presence versus where he has been in terms of like he's just throwing out a lot of like comedy in there but before we go into like the good bad and the ugly if you are new to the channel we do lots of reviews i've just posted my bad bad season three review and also we have got upcoming reviews such as a retrospective reviews for the planet of the apes movies with tier ranking videos coming out so lots of stuff to look forward to so if you are new and you do like this type of stuff do consider hitting that subscribe button as we're on our goal to try and reach 500 subscribers as the summer goal so i appreciate all of the support there and if you've seen season three please let me know your thoughts did you like it did you hate it are you also in a mixed bags when it comes to the season three please let me know all of that in the comment section down below because this is going to be like a non-spoiler review so if you haven't seen the show we won't dive into too many spoilers and if we do i'll mention the portion that we are going to spoil but mostly it's going to be a non-spoiler review because I'll start off with the positives, I'll start off with the good, and the good right off the bat is the kills in this show. In the first part there were some really great kills that Chucky does, and then that's also played in and continued in the second half of the show. There's even one part and you see it in a trailer where Chucky just shoves a pen in one of the security guards eye, it really makes for a great kill. He uses a lot of like creativity because of like Dumbala has abandoned him so in order for him to try and get back into Dumbala's good books he has to go through a variety of different kills so there's a lot of creativity. Some where he uses a gun which I'm not a huge fan of. I don't feel like iconic slashers should be using guns although the way he uses it he justifies it which I think is a great writing for that but in terms of every other kill that he uses it's fantastic. There's so many creative kills that he uses in there especially like in episode 9 there's one in an elevator which the transition between a certain moment of him in terms of how he looks as a human versus how he looks as a doll I think that was a brilliant transition if you've seen that episode if you've seen that kill in terms of the elevator sequence you'll know exactly what I mean this really isn't a spoiler but Devon Sawa's character always gets killed off and the way he gets killed off is so brutal and just iconic to me like I love the way Devon Sawa always comes back just to get killed off so the kills in this show in season three definitely are creative and definitely are entertaining to watch which is what I like despite no matter how many times it goes campy or how many times it just goes too comedic the kills in the shows or the movies are always creative and are always great to watch seeing Chucky kill his victims and speaking of Chucky again you see it in the trailer you see Brad Dorff returning as like the human version of himself and his performances are so incredible you can really tell that he's having a blast doing this he came out and said that he's going to be officially retiring although he's going to be part of like any Chucky movie or show like in terms of like behind the scenes kind of stuff which honestly I'm glad to hear that because I loved seeing Brad Dorff in this in the last couple of episodes that he is part of the show he really nails it with his performances you get that Charles Lee Ray performance from the original Child's Play movies and it's just so fun to watch Brad Dorff I'm honestly not sure how old he is I think he's in like his 60s now but he kills it in terms of his performances and what he does in the show what he brings his dynamic and his chemistry with Jake especially is just so fun to watch so despite everything that I have in terms of like my negatives that I'm going to talk about in the show Brad Dorff returning and his performance really elevated this show and just made it for such an entertaining watch and I'll be honest most of the positives is just in related to Chucky because with Chucky like the old man Chucky look to it I'll be honest it's probably in my top five Chucky looks like I really love that disheveled old man look of Chucky especially in like episode 5-6 when he's really trying to survive his on his like last straw basically of his survival method he looks absolutely incredible like the visuals and in terms of the practicality of how he looks I love that look and I really honestly will be trying to get that old man look dull if I can probably 
around Halloween time, they'll most likely have that. And you know what? I'm going to be trying to get my hands on that because I love that look. Again, like I mentioned, in my top five looks of Chucky because it's just so unique and so distinguishing in terms of like his all other looks. So lately, the way he looks, I feel like it's just been a little bit more doll-like, if that makes sense. I honestly do prefer his like older models from like the older movies. But with this one, it definitely goes back to that factor of just looking more realistic, not looking too plasticky. So that for me is definitely a huge positive, just seeing that and also so what he does and how he's going about things in episodes to the build up to the finale because you've got old man Chucky he's in the White House now I do think that they use the White House to their advantage in terms of Chucky going around killing different people in the White House but then when he's going for like the nukes when he's going for like the nuclear codes speculation about how he's going to be like the notorious serial killer that wipes off everybody increasing his kill count and I definitely feel like that for me was really entertaining to watch getting Chucky going and trying to get the nukes to blow up different countries I think that's story point just worked really well and the way that was executed definitely made a lot of sense in terms of like where they are in the White House and how he is able to try and go for the nukes. I think that works really well. So that was pretty entertaining to watch, seeing Chucky just go for desperation, just trying to wipe everybody off of the face of the planet. So that for me was the enjoyable part of it. Because even like in terms of the finale too, like what they do in the finale in the final episode, there is a certain moment between Chucky and Jake, which I'm not, again, not gonna spoil anything in terms of like what happens between the two of them, but what takes place and what it unfolds with them, I think actually was pretty entertaining especially towards like the last I would say 15 to 20 minutes of the show and like Jake's performance I think works really well and actually was really funny to watch that interaction between the two of them and what has happened so there is some good moments to be had in the show but like I said it's definitely a mixed bag because again like I said a lot of fun to be had there is some great enjoyments Brad Dorff's performances Chucky in terms of his looks and his kills are really enjoyable to watch but we'll move on to the bad because for me I definitely feel like the finale was a little bit underwhelming but before we do talk about the finale in the build-up to the finale because you have a lot of sort of different kind of supernatural elements that is taking place because they're in the White House I wasn't a huge fan of like what was taking place in episode 9 in terms of like the characters that they are introducing like these brand new characters that are in there and the way they're going about trying to speak to Chucky again no spoilers but if you know you know the whole holding hand sequence I just felt like that was a little bit too much in terms of like the whole Chucky universe and just that whole ideology of it just took me out of it because it's bad enough that they're going for like a more comedy route because in one episode back in October you had Chucky getting his balls checked by a doctor which I just think was just way too much like the comedy in this works at times but for me, Chucky is in a comedic character. He's more of like a serious slasher, which that's what I want from Chucky, like from Child's Play 1, 2, 3. But this going for like that more comedic route, again, he throws in some hilarious lines, I'll be honest, but the whole situation that they're going for, like the whole part of like the first couple of episodes in the second half just didn't work for me, kind of took me out of the show a little bit. And then in terms of like the characters' treatments, first of all, when you've got like characters that are being introduced like Price, I just feel like his story arc was a bit strange. He's just like an unbalanced character that you just don't know whether to root for him, don't know whether to like root against him. So I just, I was a bit confused with his character. Similar with like Nika, like I just feel like Nika is always getting done dirty in the show. Since like last season when she gets her limbs, her arms and legs chopped, off i just feel like she hasn't recovered since then and the treatment for her in this season in the like the latter half is just again frustrating to watch like nika's a great character when she gets introduced in the movie side of things i really loved what they did with that but then the show is she, she gets done so dirty so i'm so disappointed with what they do with nika's character the whole situation with lexi trying to find her sister i feel like honestly i legit forgot that caroline was missing up until like they mentioned it in the final episode like her character because of like the whole split season i think that hurt the storyline of looking for caroline and then in terms of like the three characters like Devin, jake and lexi i definitely feel like they took a back seat in this season in this show because they're not really the main focus like the main focus is you've got the family in the White House you've got Chucky trying to basically stay alive and the three of them aren't really present in the show up until basically like the last couple of episodes or like the last two episodes Jake more like the front center and like Lexi and Devin really take a back seat so it was a little bit disappointing in, in terms of them because I feel like they kind of run their course when it comes to like the three characters and also especially like what happens to them towards the finale and the outcome for that I feel like there's not really much more to go for with these characters it kind of does feel like they've 
run their course. So most of the characters in the show just feel like it's left to like a lot of questions being unanswered with certain characters like Nika's character and the three of them too and especially where they left off in the finale now also in terms of like the visuals too there are certain moments especially with like a fire sequence that takes place it really doesn't hold up whatsoever like it looks so fake and it looks really really bad at certain moments in that finale I just felt like that really took me out of it because of how bad it looks how fake it does look but honestly i can't fault them for how it looks or like anything like that at all i had fun with that certain moments with it but overall in terms of like the show itself overall again mixed bag with it while i did enjoy certain moments in like the build-up to the finale and the finale i enjoyed certain moments in it there was a lot more to be desired for i wanted a lot more from the show itself it is definitely a step up in terms of season two, again, because of Chucky, Brad Dorof, the kills, Tiffany's story arc that actually goes through, like in the finale. I really enjoyed Tiffany's moments. She had a great moment to shine in the finale in that final episode, especially like the first part of the episode when it is focusing on Tiffany. There is a really great, awesome sequence that she does that happens to her. So keep an eye out on that part. But I definitely was expecting a little bit more in terms of like confrontation, in terms of final conclusions and that kind of stuff. Again, if they are going to be making a movie i do hope they go for like a more darker tone and that it really does focus in and hone in on chucky if they are going to be bringing back the characters from the show to just make it more of like a front and center and hone in on that rather than just going way too out of this world wacky sort of moments with comedic side i just don't want i just rather than focusing in on the darker tone for it but that's just my thoughts and my opinions of that so overall would i recommend this Honestly, if you're a fan of Chucky, I would, because again, there are some fun moments, some great kills that Chucky really does demonstrate in the show. But if you've never seen Chucky, honestly, I don't think this would like get you on board with it whatsoever. But those are just my thoughts, my opinions of the show itself. Again, let me know yours in the comment section down below. If you've seen the show, if you've seen season three, what are your thoughts? Did you enjoy it? Did you hate it? Are you a fan of the whole style that they went with, especially in episode nine? Let me know down in the comment section below. But that about wraps it up for this review. Again, keep an eye out on the channel because coming up we've got the weekly entertainment news video coming out tomorrow we've also got the parish tv series review that's going to be coming out over the weekend and then the retrospective reviews for the planet of the apes movies with a tier ranking video next week so tons of videos coming your way so do subscribe don't miss out on that but thank you all so much for watching thank you so much for listening this is why reviews peace